How do we make the mind a worthy travel companion? An enlightened presentation by one of the first Western women ever ordained as a Tibetan Buddhist nun sought to answer that question before a packed house at FAU's University Theater. As part of its ongoing peace studies program, in conjunction with Barbara Schmidt's organization Peaceful Mind, Peaceful Life, the university welcomed Jetsunma Tenzin Palmo to the stage. Jetsunma, a title that means Venerable Master, has worked tirelessly to open doors for female practitioners of Tibetan Buddhism. That work ultimately led to the construction 10 years ago of a nunnery in the Himalayan region, where today, more than 90 young nuns study and train. Many, many people have been involved in raising the, uh, the opportunities for these young girls who previously had been denied especially educational opportunities. I am so honored to be here. I want to let you all know, first Happy New Year, that we're live streaming this all over the world. So this is such an honor and a great privilege. For Barb Schmidt, whose nonprofit encourages people to calm their frenzied lives and release self-doubt, speakers like Jitsuma give FAU students and Boca residents an opportunity to see the potential of a peaceful, empowered path. It's so vital. You, you know, you can you can see people like Jitsuma or His Holiness or uh, James Finley or the people that we brought here over the years. You can see them all over the world, but to bring them here to Boca Raton and to have it affordable for anyone, students included. To come hear these great, magnificent teachers is really a passion of mine. I really want to make it available for all people. Heather Coltman, Dean of the Dorothy Schmidt College of Arts and Letters at FAU, says the response to the Peaceful Mind, Peaceful Life series has been overwhelmingly positive. What has been extraordinary that Barb has really spearheaded um, at the university and in the community is this incredible desire to be very broad in our approach to looking at peace. And that would include looking at diplomacy, looking at truth and reconciliation commissions, looking at political systems. And really from an academic standpoint, there's been a great growth in, of interest in these disciplines. Um, many universities across the country have similar kinds of programs, but we're very, very pleased because the faculty and the students have been so responsive that our Peace Studies program, through the influence of Peaceful Mind, Peaceful Life, has really now expanded in a new initiative that we're calling Peace, Justice, and Human Rights. And, and there's such an interest from across, you know, every sector. Both Schmidt and Coltman agree that students at FAU, like peace-loving generations of other eras, crave the kind of stimulating and enlightened discourse offered through these presentations and through the Peace Studies program in general. I mean, as Bob said, quoting what I had said before, but one really understands this, that the one thing you never can get away from is our own mind. For Boca Mag TV, this is editor Kevin Kaminsky reporting.